Welcome back, YouTubers. It is me again. And if you clicked on this video, you probably own a Kubota compact or subcompact tractor. And today I'm going to show you the solution that I came up with to the age old problem of where do you carry tools? You know, with this cab model, you do have some space back here in the back, but it is limited. I've seen on bigger versions, bigger tractors, that operators use these small holes here uh, to store chains and things like that. But as you know, they're pretty tiny on these tractors. So, I'm going to show you what I came up with, tools that you can carry to get you out of a pinch. You're certainly not going to be doing major mechanical uh, repairs with these tools, but they're certainly useful and something that everyone should carry while out there doing their job. So stick around. This is the little bracket that came off of the back of the triangular safety flag. You can see here where it permanently attaches to the back. So I found this thing laying around the shed and I got it at Harbor Freight and what it's designed to do is to carry welding rods. You can see up top it's got this little rubber gasket. It should make it fairly weather resistant. And I took that bracket apart that holds the triangular warning flag and I simply put a pipe clamp around it to hold it in place. Um, this is an inexpensive thing, you know, if the weather eats it up and it goes bad, you can replace it for a couple bucks. Tools fit in there nicely, and I figured this thing would be fantastic to attach to the back of the tractor. I used the second half of the bracket and permanently affixed it with the supplied bolts. Now, as you can tell, the container fits perfectly. It doesn't obstruct the three-point hitch or the washer fluid fill. Now that we've got the container attached, let's take it off and see what I've got inside. This tractor was produced in Japan and assembled in the United States, so therefore I'm going to try my best to use Japanese and USA made tools. Okay, so here you have it. Of course you have the container and its lid. These shop rags fit perfectly into the lid. You have a Lobtech open-ended wrench, some cable ties, a pair of engineer pliers with cutters, channel lock pliers, a coken ratchet with nut grip sockets and to round it out a vessel screwdriver. This Japanese Lobtech open-end adjustable wrench is perfect for these situations. This little divot indicates that this fastener complies with the Japanese industrial standards. That's why I carry this vessel bit driver. Notice how well the fastener sticks to the tip. This is why you use Japanese tools when you work on Japanese products. If I have a loose bolt or nut or just need to make an adjustment, I reach for this locking flex head ratchet from Koken and the matching Koken sockets. A six inch pair of American made channel lock pliers are perfect when you need to adjust the teeth on your box blade or just remove them altogether. That pretty much rounds out what's in the external container and I hope you'll let me take you inside now and show you what fits behind the seat. I've taken the things out of the cab to give you a better look. An American made Mayhew Dominator works perfect for adjusting the box blade angles. And don't forget a great pair of gloves. A couple ratchet straps can always get you out of a bind. Especially if one of your hydraulic lines break, you can get the implements up off of the ground so you can make it home. A few extra pins are always a good idea. And a kinetic energy rope with soft shackles is always safer than using chains or cables. And finally, one of the best tools I've found recently is this Irwin X-Boom Quick Grip. If you've ever struggled with those hydraulic connectors, you'll really appreciate this tool. All right, YouTubers, this pretty much wraps it up. Thanks for watching this video. And you know what? At one point or another in your life, you may experience an emergency situation. And there are men and women standing by right now, 24 seven to answer your call. Please support our emergency communications personnel and your first responders. Thank you. I'll see you next time. Peace.